Have you ever considered the possibility of enhancing your own body's performance beyond its natural state? If you have, then you're not alone. This desire to optimize our bodies and minds is not new, but the ways in which we can now achieve it are revolutionary. Welcome to the dawn of biohacking. Biohacking at its core is a desire to understand, optimize and improve our own biology. It's about taking control of our bodies and minds and pushing them beyond their natural limits. The term itself is a fusion of biology and hacking, implying a do-it-yourself approach to self-improvement. This concept first emerged in the early 21st century, born out of a growing interest in human enhancement and a burgeoning DIY culture. But before the age of high-tech implants and genetic modifications, biohacking started with much simpler practices. It began with changes to diet and exercise routines, with individuals experimenting with different foods, sleep patterns, and physical activities to optimize their health and performance. These practices were grounded in the belief that our bodies are complex systems that can be hacked or manipulated for better results. These initial biohackers were pioneers in their own right, pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible for human performance. They were the first to recognize that our bodies are not fixed, but rather adaptable systems that can be optimized. This laid the groundwork for the biohacking revolution we're witnessing today. They leveraged the power of nutrition to enhance cognitive function, used exercise to boost energy levels and harness the power of sleep for recovery and rejuvenation. These techniques, while simple, were the first steps towards a larger movement of self-improvement and human enhancement. So, the journey of biohacking began with simple everyday practices, but the realm of possibilities was about to expand. As technological advances ushered in a new era, the world of biohacking was set to evolve, pushing the boundaries of human potential to new and exciting frontiers. As our understanding of the human body and technology grew, so did the possibilities for biohacking. This evolution was marked by breakthroughs that expanded the horizon of what we could achieve in terms of human performance enhancement. One of the key advancements in this field was the development of wearable tech. These devices, which we now casually strap on our wrists or clip to our clothes, were revolutionary. They provided us with real-time insights into our physiological states. Heart rate, sleep patterns, even our stress levels could now be tracked and analysed. This opened up a world of potential for biohackers, who could now monitor their bodies with unprecedented precision. But wearable tech was just the beginning. As technology continued to evolve, so did the tools available to biohackers. We started to see the emergence of innovative supplements designed to optimize the body's functions. These weren't your average multivitamins. These were scientifically formulated mixtures designed to enhance things like cognitive function, energy levels, or even the body's ability to recover from workouts. These advancements weren't just about optimizing the body though. They were also about personalization. Biohacking became less about following a one size fits all approach and more about tailoring interventions to the individual. With the help of technology, biohackers could now create personalized plans based on their own unique physiology. And let's not forget the role of the internet in all of this. Online communities sprung up, allowing biohackers to share their experiences, learn from each other, and push the boundaries of what was possible. This collective knowledge sharing helped to drive the evolution of biohacking forward at a rapid pace. It's been quite a journey, from the early days of biohacking to the sophisticated tech-driven movement we see today. These advancements paved the way for a new era in biohacking, one where the only limits were those of human imagination. Today, the world of biohacking is almost unrecognizable from its humble beginnings. It has evolved from simple DIY biology experiments to a sphere where cutting-edge technology is being used to redefine human capabilities. Let's delve into the latest technological innovations that are pushing the boundaries of biohacking. Firstly, we have gene editing, a revolutionary technology that allows us to alter our very DNA. The most well-known of these techniques is CRISPR-Cas9, a tool that can be used to add, delete or modify parts of the DNA sequence. Imagine being able to tweak the genetic code to enhance physical strength, intelligence or even immunity to certain diseases. Sounds like a science fiction movie, right? But it's not. This is the reality of biohacking today. 
Moving on, we have neurostimulation, a technique that involves using electric currents to stimulate the brain. This isn't as scary as it sounds. Techniques like transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS, are non-invasive and have been shown to improve cognitive functions such as memory and attention. Essentially, it's like overclocking your brain, boosting its performance beyond the usual limits. But it doesn't stop at neurostimulation. We're also seeing the rise of ingestible sensors and biocompatible electronics. Devices that can monitor our health from the inside, providing real-time data on everything from heart rate to gut bacteria. And let's not forget about nootropics, supplements designed to enhance brain function. These smart drugs promise to boost everything from memory to creativity, offering a chemical shortcut to peak mental performance. These technologies promise unprecedented levels of control over our bodies and minds. We are entering an era where the line between man and machine is becoming increasingly blurred, where the human body is not just something to be lived in, but something to be optimized, hacked and improved. With these technologies, we are not just pushing the boundaries of human performance, we are redefining them. However, with great power comes great responsibility. As we delve deeper into the world of biohacking, we must also confront the ethical implications that accompany this revolutionary field. Biohacking, by its very nature, seeks to push the boundaries of what is biologically possible for humans. Yet, this relentless pursuit of progress raises important questions. In our quest to enhance our physical and cognitive abilities, are we playing God? Are we tampering with the very essence of what it means to be human? Consider this. Biohacking could potentially create a society divided along biological lines, with those who can afford enhancements gaining an unfair advantage over those who can't. We risk creating a world where the rich not only possess more wealth, but are also physically and cognitively superior. Moreover, as with any technology, there's the potential for abuse. For example, imagine employers insisting that their employees undergo certain enhancements to boost productivity. Or consider the possibility of governments using biohacking technologies for nefarious purposes. Then there's the issue of unforeseen consequences. What if an enhancement designed to improve memory inadvertently alters a person's personality? What if a procedure meant to boost physical strength leads to unexpected health problems down the line? These potential risks underscore the need for regulation and oversight, but how do we regulate a field that's evolving at such a rapid pace? How do we create laws for technologies that we can't yet fully comprehend? The challenge lies in striking a balance between fostering innovation and ensuring safety. We need to create an environment where biohackers can continue to push the boundaries of human potential, while also putting in place safeguards to prevent misuse and protect individuals from harm. As we stand on the brink of a new era in human evolution, we must ask ourselves, just because we can, does it mean we should? It's a question that we, as a society, must grapple with as we navigate the uncharted waters of biohacking. It's a question that will shape the future of humanity. From humble beginnings to cutting-edge technologies, the journey of biohacking has been nothing short of remarkable. We embarked on this journey by understanding the rudimentary principles of biohacking. It was fascinating to see how this field began as a grassroots movement, with individuals exploring ways to enhance their physical and cognitive performance using simple, everyday tools and techniques. As we delve deeper, we saw how this basic concept evolved with time, becoming more complex and sophisticated. The advent of cutting-edge technology transformed biohacking from a fringe activity to a mainstream phenomenon. Innovations such as genetic engineering, neurofeedback devices and implantable technologies have opened up new frontiers in human enhancement, promising a future where our capabilities are only limited by our imagination. But the road to this utopian future is fraught with ethical dilemmas. The promise of enhanced human performance is enticing, but it also raises pertinent questions about the moral implications of altering our biology. Who gets to decide what constitutes enhancement? What are the potential risks and how do we mitigate them? How do we ensure that these technologies are accessible to all and not just a privileged few? These are complex issues that require thoughtful deliberation and careful regulation. But as we grapple with these challenges, we must also remember the immense potential that biohacking holds. 
It's not just about creating superhumans, but about empowering individuals to take control of their health and well-being and to achieve their full potential. As we continue to explore the possibilities of biohacking, it is clear that the only constant is change. But one thing remains certain, the future of human performance is in our hands. As we stand at the cusp of this brave new world, let us remember that with great power comes great responsibility. Let's navigate this uncharted territory with wisdom, empathy and a deep respect for the sanctity of life.